encourage your dog to do something that you like, and then you do something that they like, they're going to want to do that thing for you more next time. As you can see, if you have a look at what Wiz is doing, so this is really just attention while you're walking around. You know, there's, uh, the dog's not doing anything other than being interested in you. And you can get picky, you know, we, we can do nice, fast and slow, we can do easy turns and more difficult turns. And you can teach your dog to walk on either side. She can do a stay and a down. She can do a little bit of heel work. But the main thing that we're asking her to do today is do it in front of all you lot, because it's the first time she's ever been out. She's only seven and a half months old. Ooh. She's she thought about moving. Very nice. <laughs> I think her mind's elsewhere. Can we, can we do it with a twist? Hey, very good. <laughs> Yay. Uh, let's put a basketball in the hoop. Can we have a hoop holder? Anyone? Pick, pick, pick one, Liz. I, I, I'm immobile. Now, Fred does tend to get a little bit lost in this sometimes because that basketball is really nice and chewy. And hopefully he won't just stop and chew it. He'll actually put it in the basketball if we're lucky. Let's see how he does. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> He's taking it out again. Yay! You see, Freddie's quite a distracted dog. He always has to have a look around, make sure nothing better is happening. He might just decide to run off with it. Oh, very good. Okay, we're going to do um, a trick that involves all four of us now. This is the first trick that we have involving two dogs, apart from the little heel work thing. And I'm going to have to explain it to you turn the microphone off and hopefully go and do it because I can't move from here we're going to put two dogs in a stay two handlers on the other side of the car park one of us is going to call Fred and it'll come diagonally and stop halfway and then we're going to call Wiz and she's going to come through Fred's legs to the handler at the other end and then we'll call Fred it's a bit of a tall order so bear with me, I'll put the microphone down and we'll see if we can make it actually happen. <laughs>